In this video, I'll show you how to set up your HP 2700E and other HP printer that looks just like this one with your Mac computer. Could be a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, doesn't matter. It works the same way. So let's get started right away. Go on the side here of the printer and you see on the screen here, you should actually have a small icon that looks like a smartphone and a printer together. If you don't see this icon, you need to make it appear. And to do so, you just need to press on the Wi-Fi button and the button right above it at the same time during about a second or two until it appears. So let's do it together. I'm pressing both and uh, okay. The icon appeared. Did you see it? Right over here. Next step is to print the Wi-Fi password of the printer because each printer have a different Wi-Fi password. So not everyone can connect to them. To do so, it's very easy. You first need to insert some paper in the paper tray of the printer like this and then press the I button on the printer. This over here, you just need to press it once. And now just wait a few seconds. Perfect. So on this page over here, on the bottom part, you're going to see the name of your printer, the network name over here. The Wi-Fi direct name is, and there was something, and the Wi-Fi direct password is with a number. Next step is to go on your Mac computer, go on the App Store, and you need to search for HP Smart over here you need to download HP smart for desktop this app once it's done downloading open the app on the HP app what you need to do is to select set up or add a printer on the first page here click on this then click on complete now this is the list of all the printers that are around you you need to select yours mine is the first one so just click on it you may get this message, just click OK. And the printer will be added on the main page of the app. It may ask for a password. And if a password is requested, you just have to enter the password that is on the sheet of paper you just printed. From here, you have multiple choices. You can go ahead and print a document if you want by clicking this blue button here. It will ask where the document is located. Let's say I want all files. And you'll be able to search on your computer to find the document that you want to print. In my case, it's this one. I'll click on it. You'll get this screen, press print preview, then press the small arrow here. Now it's the time for you to choose different details about your print. So what kind of paper, the paper size that you're gonna use, how many copies of this document you want, the print quality, page range, let's say in my case, I just want the first page. So I'll make sure that just number one has a check mark. Okay, then go back. And if you want, whoops, if you want this print to be in color. So at the end, I'll just press print. Make sure that you have some paper on your printer, in your printer. And here we go. This is the document that was previously on my Mac computer that we just printed. I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.